Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to speak uh, everything about constructions building in this game, which is like one of the most essential uh, feature in the game. It's a kingdom builder game where you are uh, building your own town at first and then you are trying to conquer in the world, right? Uh, as always in this feature, in building and construction feature, there is like a couple of tips and tricks which um, I would be happy if I knew whenever I started the game and that's why I think it will be important for every beginner or even maybe uh, already late game player to understand what kind of tips there is in Call of Dragons in terms of uh, buildings in this game. Uh, the first and main tip in my opinion whenever you start the game you have only one builder which means uh, whenever you start uh, building a construction you won't be able to uh, build the next until the first one will be finished. Uh, in order for us to fix that there is one and obvious choice uh, in this game we can have a two builders. Uh, at first you have one but you will be able to unlock the second building queue uh, for 5000 gems uh, whenever you are uh, just a beginner. Well how you can get those 5000 gems right? Uh, every week uh, you have a weekly limit you can gather uh, 1000 gem. Uh, also there is some events where sometimes you're gonna get 100 gem, 50 gem, 200 gems right? Also if your alliance members will be building some bundles so you will be able to get uh, the gifts um, in terms of chests and if you will be lucky you will get some uh, gems from there also another option is of course uh, defeating the forts uh, sometimes fort rewards are giving you even more gems so like at first your number one priority should be to able to gather and get and save 5000 gems in order for you to have double uh, queue in terms of building right and it will accelerate your speed in terms of construction um, twice right you will be able to build buildings uh, two buildings at the same time which means you will be progressing through the game uh, twice as fast as where you were before that was like number one and one of the most important tips in my opinion and the second tip uh, for um, from me would be to of course prioritize your city hall right that's your main building without city hall being high level you won't be able to progress through the game of course um, city hall has some um, inside the uh, goals which uh, everybody should uh, try to accomplish and these goals are like this right city hall is not just granting you the ability to build more levels to other buildings city hall is giving you some stats right it's pretty easy to understand every single level you are get getting more legion capacity uh, like in percentages also and in terms of numbers right and that's not the main idea behind the city hall in my opinion uh, whenever you are starting the game your number one priority priority should be to get uh, like as fast as possible to level 21 uh, simply because at level 21 you will be able to use five legions uh, and that's the most legions you can use uh, in total in call of dragons which will help you like uh, a lot right you will be able to gather every single resource in the game uh, plus the gems if you are going to um, gather in general you will be able to participate in more fort destroying activities which will give you a lot more rewards or maybe you are fighting and you will be able to use five legions for fighting um, and you will conquer the world right uh, so five uh, legion legions in general are the most amount of legions you can get and you will be able to get those uh, five legions whenever you will be able to hit 21 levels Level. In terms of levels for City Hall, there is like a couple of complicated uh, things, right? Uh, we know that 21 level is like the most important, right? After that, of course, you will be able to continue for more, but that's the number one goal in terms of City Hall. Well, if you want to upgrade your City Hall, there is a couple of requirements, and generally those requirements are like, for example, if uh, I wanted to upgrade my City Hall to 25, uh, I need to have uh, like wall uh, on 24, right? Like 
like the, the requirements are pretty simple uh, every single level you want to up the city hall there is like sometimes wall should be plus one level sometimes mint uh, will be plus one level uh, so like in general by just going through the city hall upgrade you will be upgrading couple of buildings at the same time um, which will allow you to progress through the building and construction uh, gameplay in Call of Dragons uh, that will take a lot of resources that's why for free to play players I recommend to not waste resources on everything and uh, have a plan in terms of construction uh, and that's the number one tip uh, get it as fast as possible to uh, 24 level 21 level to have 5 legions queue after that as I remember 22 23 levels and 24 levels uh, the requirements will be to upgrade your armies uh, and that's even more benefit uh, you will be able to upgrade your city of hall even more and you will be able to recruit more um, armies through the uh, army recruitment now of course uh, this third tip is one of the uh, best tips and tricks uh, in terms of uh, buildings uh, the one of the best priorities should be to upgrade alliance center because that's the main factor on how you will be able to progress faster right in general alliance center is one of the most important buildings in the whole game which is allowing you to uh, lower the building or construction or research or like any types of uh, like activity which needs some time uh, besides army recruitment uh, alliance center your alliance members will be able to help you to uh, reduce the timer right like for example whenever i started logging techniques 3 uh, to level 7 uh, because of my alliance uh, center my alliance members helped me to uh, lower the time and it will reduce like 10 hours right like for example marksman protection 2 to level 9 uh, it helps me to reduce 10 days so like can you imagine how much time it's saving you throughout the game uh, there is nothing like uh, there is not a speed up like something like this like it's reducing the maximum amount of time throughout the game uh, because you generally can have uh, the alliance center at the start of the game which will be able to help you to lower the timer of the almost everything right so like uh, whenever you are progressing through the city hall try to uh, get the same level alliance center because it will be helpful right like it like can you imagine 10 days reduced because i have this building on 24 level so i don't need to uh, convince you guys more why this building is really really important uh, the fourth tip which i think is um pretty clear uh, there is some buildings which like uh, which are a couple of them right for example mana and the refinery is four buildings uh, lumber mill is four buildings uh, hospitals are uh, four uh, well it's, it's sometimes it's hard to understand which uh, like type of building to upgrade then in my opinion uh, in terms of a couple of buildings of the same time hospital should be upgraded uh, uh, to the same level like every single hospital should be on the same level as your city hall because it will boost your hospital capability you will be able to heal way 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 more troops and you will be more active in general also these hospitals are one of the best uh, a generator of the power it gives you a lot of power in general like can you can you like almost half a million uh, power from the one hospital which is uh, 24 level uh, that's why i think uh, as like as i have already mentioned the city hall uh, alliance center and hospital is should be the always the priority uh, for you like depending on where you are currently and yeah like main tip about hospital is to like you can upgrade every single one of them uh, it will help your gameplay uh, in terms of fighting and also it will increase your uh, power numbers in general quite a lot uh, the fifth tip um, uh, which i think is important also uh, like don't forget about your research building uh, it's not only about uh, be able to um, research more and more skills it actually gives you a lot of research uh, speed bonus 24 level uh, series console which is um, a research building for wilderberg is giving me giving me 80 percent uh, more uh, like research speed bonus which is amazing 
amazing it's reducing the uh, timer of my research which is one of the uh, like crucial aspects of the game in terms of rushing to tier 5 right so don't forget to uh, build the Sears console uh, that's my first uh, fifth tip in my opinion like it's pretty easy to get lost in general in terms of building uh, the uh, like constructions in this game because they are quite a lot right but of course uh, if you are like rushing the city hall uh, like throughout the game you are building a lot of stuff uh, and you have always one um, building queue where you can uh, build something else and i think one building queue should be uh, left to the city hall and the other one like alliance center hospitals and uh, the research building uh, like that's the most crucial buildings uh, in my opinion in the call of dragons uh, if they are like high level that's already enough for me to uh, be successful in this game right so like there is one big question for free to play players especially uh, in terms of tier 5 right uh, in order for me to upgrade uh, my city hall to 25 i need to spend 2000 gems and a lot of resources and for every single building uh, you want to upgrade to 25 level uh, you need to spend and the 2000 gems when so, my idea behind this is that uh, i'm a marksman player um, like next the two legendary heroes will be marksmen i will try to spend my gems for the marksman uh, heroes and after that there is like big cycle right like there will be like mages uh, infantry cavalry so there is like big uh, gap after the next two archer heroes that's the time when i will use uh, my gems to upgrade the buildings uh, but it's it, it doesn't mean that whenever you upgrade to 25 you straight up are close to 25 to tier 5 units right there is a big stop you need to have a rally building and uh, like watchtower to 25 level which you will need a lot of time as a free to play player to get so uh, i have been 24 level city hall and all of my buildings to 24 which are important uh, already for two seasons that's why uh, my main advice to, to, to tier 4 and free to play players is to just don't rush tier 5 like uh, if you don't have a rally building 25 and or at least 24 and watchtower 24 it doesn't really matter if you will build your city hall to 25 uh, like what you are getting from the 25 right like additional legion capacity that's all and a lot of power whenever you will build the uh, building which is like power is strictly just numbers uh, what it uh, matters is actually the research of your army or how you generally fight in this game uh, that's my sixth tip like don't rush uh, to build and use your gems on constructions to 25 like you can generally spend like i have spent two seasons uh, with my research and made my marksman the strongest legion which i have uh, currently in the game and also like as i mentioned uh, like look ahead what's coming throughout the game in the future and you can uh, make your own strategy uh, i hope um, this video will be helpful for everybody but especially for uh, just beginners who might get lost in terms of buildings in this game because they are a lot right uh, like some i just i i have my own ideas whenever i'm uh, like doing something like for example uh, slowly i started building hospitals but not straight up uh, i waited for um, city hall to 22 uh, to start upgrading my army um buildings uh, because it's a necessity it's a requirement to upgrade city hall so slowly you will be able to upgrade everything but don't forget which ones are priorities and which ones are not um, i hope uh, this video will be helpful for everybody um, if you like the video press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make content for this game uh, actually um, what's a surprising for me uh, we are almost uh, like uh, done like four thousand and uh, watch hours um, in terms of youtube verification uh, which i'm really really grateful i thought at first that was the hardest uh, statistic to hit uh, but actually it got uh, like a lot easier whenever you have a great community who likes to communicate in comments or in general in game and always feel free to text me in main call of dragons or in discord or in comment section if you have any question or idea or you want to talk about something about the game uh, 
um, I hope everybody will have amazing day, morning or night, wherever you are. Uh, we're going to see each other very, very soon. Bye bye and good luck.